Hello everybody, today we are making something very interesting, something which is new for me and actually it's a challenge for me. Everyone can send me an email and schedule a call with me which will be recorded like Ella did. So Ella sent me, sent me a message and he wrote on the email that he has 2500 uh, listings on AutoDS and he has in average 5 sales per day. So he, he asked me how he can increase his dropshipping sales and make more profits and how he can grow to 10,000 listings to make even more sense. So Elad will be here with us today on this interview so you can see how I will help him and how he will adapt his settings to make it on the right way. So uh, here we go. Hey Elad, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great. So. Uh, I will uh, share my screen on part of the things. Anyway, I will blur everything after the video so people will not see your uh, product IDs or store name or everything, so, or anything. So, let's go. So, first of all, I will make some uh, overview over the store. Um, mm -hmm. I shared my screen now. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Great. So, we can see here that uh, you have uh, around 2,500 listings, uh, 12 orders today. We check it weekly. So we see 36 orders on the last week uh, and week before also something same, which is around five orders per day. Um, the first question here, do you have gift cards? Yes, gift I do. Card? Yes, I do. For 10% or how, how much? Yeah. 10%. Good, okay. So the first thing that I want to uh, go over here is uh, just something for the display, just to make it more comfortable for you and easier to work with it, is the fees uh, setting. So as you can see, the monitor shows for you here as a minus on the profits. And it's not very comfortable to see it like this. So what you should do, you should go to the uh, settings page, fees field, and here you should put uh, the settings as PayPal fees plus eBay fees minus gift cards percent, which is 10%, plus around, uh, plus around 2%. So this way you will have a better uh, profits here. Like it will just looks better. So this is the first thing, because I saw that on the break when you already did it, and I will show it soon, uh, but you missed it on this part. Okay. So this is about the fees. The second thing is if you go to your active listing, by the way, actually your situation is amazing and I will explain about this soon, why, but your store performance is great because if you uh, go, I, I, I still want to improve the situation, but I want to say that uh, the current situation is great and let's see why. You have five sales per day. Uh, if we check the average cell, let's go. Mm -hmm. So your your total purchases is around hundred. Yeah, here you have more. Here you have less. Around hundred forty dollars per day. So it means that if we take 10% from this, it's $14 per day in profits, right? Yeah. So right now your, your profits are uh, $420 per month uh, without your payments to AutoDS and eBay. Now on eBay, your store subscription right now is premium. On which store are you? Right now it's a premium and uh, I think next week I will upgrade uh, to Encore. Cool. So according to this file, you can see plus minus the uh, fees which you pay when you are working with a premium store. We can see that the price per listing is uh, 108. While here it's almost half of this. So if you take your store and you just increase your a product number by four, so you will have 10,000 listings. You will have around 20 orders per day. Your profits will grow from uh, $14 to 
56 dollars and your fees will be decreased it means that uh, if we take uh, 14 14 multiplied four, 56 dollars per day this is per month so your uncle store will cost you 300 dollars AutoDS will cost you 325, so minus 300 for eBay, minus 325 for AutoDS, and you will see that you will have around $1,000 in profits. So the third thing here which you should understand is what I'm always trying to say. This strategy doesn't work well if you have low number of products because as you grow, I'm always trying to explain this. As you grow, not only on eBay, but also in AutoDS. So this is why I really uh, uh, put attention on this because your situation now is great. I will show you how to increase the sales, but actually right now, if you're just doing the same and you increase your number of products by four, uh, by multiply four, you will see that your sales will be uh, around $1,000 per month in profits for one store. Now, actually, per store, the uh, average profit, which is great for the dropshipping in this method, is between 1,000 to 2,000. So the other things which we will do on this video will help you to go more to 2,000 profits, $2,000, but you are actually on the right way. So this is the first thing. The second thing here is when we go to active listings, I just uh, checked your store before, so I know what to show here uh, your break even now is 855 how did you calculate it uh, i took uh, the paypal uh, fee uh, plus the ebay minus the gift card plus uh, it was first two percent and after i talk uh, with uh, clayton uh, that mm -hmm. i saw that i pay a lot of taxes so he told me to change it from two to five so the tax uh, Will be part of the three percent uh, additional three percent. Cool. So first of all, of all, this is right. If you uh, are paying taxes on Amazon, this is really the right thing to do. But you can do here two other things. The first one is if you go to monitors page, and then you go to uh, Amazon settings. You have here the option of the dynamic break even. Now I recommend you to put here on the uh, not sold by Amazon, the regular formula of the 915 for eBay plus four, four for PayPal minus gift cards plus two, plus two, like nine, 15, 10. So here it will be 555 uh, for not sold by Amazon. Why? Because usually for not sold by Amazon, uh, you don't pay taxes. And here on the top one, you can put the 855. This way you will be covered when it's sold by Amazon, but when it's not sold by Amazon, you will not pay taxes, so your prices will be less and you will sell more. Mm -hmm. so this okay. is the whole thing. The second thing uh, is uh, that actually I recommend you with your revenue, just buy tax exempt account. Because if you buy a tax exempt account, it will cost you around $150 a lifetime. I will send you a link after the video where you can purchase it. And it will save you a lot of money. Like you pay for it one time $150 and you will save all of the taxes which you pay to Amazon. Yeah, so, just a few hours ago, I, cal I calculated the tax that I paid from the start of the month. From the first, it was around 40 bucks. So it's a lot of money. In three, in less than two months, the it's the money. The money come back. Yeah, exactly. So this is something which I really recommend for any dropshipper. With actually five sales per day, it's already worth it. So uh, this is something which I really recommend you to do. So if you don't take the tax exam, use the uh, dynamic break even. If you take the tax exam, just use the uh, lower one. Uh, the 515, I think it was, uh, what I showed before. Yeah, better better to buy the tax exam. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, I see that you unchecked here the allow suppliers table. I recommend you to check it. 
because uh, it will decrease your number of out of stock by around two or three percent and you don't really have any minuses with it so uh, just check it it will decrease the number of out of stock and add more sales for you uh, do you know what it means the uh, supply no. of cyber no okay so on amazon uh, when autodesk scans amazon we have the buy box which is the main page uh, like the page which you see immediately when you go to amazon to any product on amazon and if you go on the side let me show you uh, Here we have the other sellers on Amazon, new, too. So this is the supply of stable. Now sometimes the buy box is not on, in stock. So the Autodesk will go to the other uh, sellers. It will check which of them uh, have a feedback and over 100 feedbacks. And then it will just go and monitor from these sellers. For example, this seller it would not take because it's just launched seller and it's not a trustful seller on Amazon. But if he would have here other sellers which also trusted with feedbacks and good reviews, so it would take them. This way it will decrease the number of out of stocks, sell more and have less uh, uh, out of stock in your store actually. Okay, thanks. So, allow supplier stable, uh, change the break even uh, with tax exam. Uh, about all those monitor, let's see what we did here. Actually, I didn't check it before. So, here the settings are great uh, because yeah, it's great. This also we checked, which is also great. Turn down, this is great. Cool. So it seems like we uh, checked the. Hipshipper. Cool, you are also using a hip shipper. Cool, so you're really using most of the important settings. So the only things which, which you need to uh, fix here are the break even, the, uh, the dynamic policies, actually, the dynamic break even, sorry, the tax exam, the what we talked here about more, the supplier table. The supply table. Yeah, the fees setting, and just increase the number of products. When you get to the 10,000 listings, you will see that the uh, store not only, it will not only be a uh, multiply four sales, it will be more because you will get more traffic, you will get more sales, and you always will remove the bad selling products. And instead of these products, you will upload new products. So it just, matters of time when you will have in your store more selling products than non-selling products. And then you will just go forward and increase your sales every month. So uh, I also recommend you to go to the 10,000 as, uh, like as soon as possible. Even if you will be on the break event uh, profits for the first month, we'll see that uh, after one month it will in immediately uh, grow. Uh, that's all. I will also help you here with the pricing so you can really uh, grow easily and succeed. We will talk about this after the video. Um, one thing here, how do you find products? You're using Finder or not? Uh, I do use a Finder. Um, mostly I use the one that those that uh, sold eight uh, times and uh, the coupon. Uh, I need to, yeah, I need to uh, restart them. And uh, of course, uh, what uh, Clayton uh, told me. Okay, so for the finder, I recommend you to put the recurring upload so it will upload for you every day. And uh, this mm -hmm. way, you will see a lot of traffic in your store. Uh, and this is also something which we saw that affects sales a lot. About which finder categories to upload, I'm sure that Clayton already showed you in the mentorship group. Um, this is about the recurring uploads. You are using the coupon products also, right? Yeah, the coupon and those that sold uh, eight time, uh, plus uh, eight time a month, something like that. Cool. It's uh, the best category there is. Cool. And the most important thing, actually, everything which we talked about will not work if you don't do this. Uh, I can't check it from the uh, monitor, but I just will uh, tell, tell it to you. 
Um, this is very important to give a good customer support. I will also post a video about this very soon. I talked with the account manager on eBay, like a business account manager, and I got an email from them for our accounts, which managed by eBay, about this that actually customer support is what eBay, eBay cares the most now. So it's very important to answer all of your customers very fast. Uh, I don't know if you're using code orders or not, if you're using, so it's great. If not, so just, uh, be aware that you should upload all of your tracking time, uh, all of your tracking up the numbers on time. So it's late. Uh, no, I'm, using, I'm using only the auto orders. I was at first, I was not using. I woke up, uh, I don't know, half an hour, hour before, just open the laptop and start order. After I found out that there is the auto order, it, it's amazing. It's a different thing. Everything is doing for you. The emails, uh, the update of the tracking number, I recommend it to everyone. Cool. So, uh, great. So, first of all, thank you. And so, this is something which is really important to upload the tracking numbers on time. You don't need actually to do anything because of the auto orders. So all what you need to do is to care about the uh, returns, cancellations, to do it on time. Don't miss any cases. This is super important. And this is why usually people get the MC011 because they uh, don't put attention to cases. Cases just closing without any uh, seller's attention, which is very bad for eBay. I will also show the email which I got from the account manager from eBay. He just wrote me, if you don't answer the cases, don't answer the returns, or just don't answer your customers, your account will be suspended. It's just a matter of time. So this is something very important. And I'm waiting actually to make another video with you in around two months when you get to the 10,000 listings, uh, because I really want to see the progress, and uh, I promise you that you will see the results. So uh, let's go, and thank you for the video. Do you have any questions? No, I think you answered uh, everything. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, if someone else wants to create uh, videos with me about his stores or about any question that you want me to answer, just uh, send me an email. I will post my email address under this video. Thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.